Hello Himo friends and welcome to this new video. So today I am going to share with you a sparring commentary of a sparring which I had with my girlfriend Elisa. She's improving her long sword fencing and I am helping her. In this case I uh, gave her this kind of sparring in which I was going through different level of intensities and speed. She had to adapt and try to land some actions. So let's watch. So first of all, salute as always. And my plan is to instantly try to sneak into measure and land a straight thrust. So to make Elisa pay attention more to distance management. I am the taller fencer, I am in control of the distance and she has to pay attention to it all the time. I try to bother her with some not so relevant actions, try to provoke her and she finds this good tempo to land an angle thrust to my head. Really interesting kind of action. She does it quite a lot on the inside parry. Then this really interesting series of exchanges. As you notice, you will notice there are a lot of um, exchanges of, par of parry repost in this uh, in this sparring match. This is because Elisa is working kind of hard on her parry repost game. <coughs> she managed to cover the inside line. We are of course working a lot on the outside now, which is the problem problem for basically every long sword fencer, I would say. It's not easy to cover the outside line. Our brain cheats us sometimes, we want to rush, and so to rush our brain makes just partial movements, and partial movements are not enough. This happens in many activities, by the way, not only in swordmanship. So, really interesting strategy, Lisa keeps control of the blade and stabs me in the side of the chest in a threat to action so really weird and uh, it worked so frontale for elisa she approaches me series of cuts she stays into measure not a good idea i punish her and i land a tempo on her hand try to always commit your actions or if you don't just go away really important restore distance safe distance so here i managed to sneak again into lisa's measure and i land a cut on her leg she approaches me frontale here i basically land a picture perfect uh, gioco del villano and double it <laughs> sometimes it happens in this case, it was my fault. I didn't have control of the opponent's weapon. Again, parry post I enter on the outside line. This one was also harder to to parry. The mandrito on the outside line really hard to counter. Staring a little bit at each other. try to bother her entering measure very good choice of time she lands uh, a thrust keeping control of my blade like in a scambiati punta fashion stretto and bam punch on my face <laughs> i control the blade of elisa and she punches me in the head This action is really interesting. So she basically ended up sliding down in the bind uh, toward my hand. I basically closed the inside line and she used that uh, movement to land a cut, rotating a cut toward my outside. And <coughs> I wasn't able to reach the perfect position fast enough and she landed the action. Really cool. Double hit. She was going to for a false edge under my hand. This happens quite a lot. If the opponent doesn't understand it, he may go straight for the head. I actually lost a tournament fight in this way, funny enough. <laughs> so, testing. Fast parry post for the head. She went for my hand. It was a smart idea, but uh, I was ready for it series of parry post and she managed to slice my butt 
<laughs> well, actually not slice, I would say cut. <laughs> cut away a slice. <laughs> I enter in, let's say, why did he coach, let's call it. This time I control the blade and I manage to have my arm closing the line so I not get punched and I can redirect my blade. So last three exchanges after a minute of rest for Elisa and for me too of course. <laughs> Fast parry repost for me but she was planning to land a Sotano, a Mandito Sotano and she does it so we end up in a double. Parry post gain I land a Mandito Vendente on the outside line really hard to parry. And it ends with a very cool series of parry post and she manages to cut my hand. So very cool uh, spamming match, a lot of parry post game. We were focusing on it, we worked on it. Sometimes it's really important to have a focus in your sparring. Uh, it is not necessarily something that you have to do, but maybe you can Try to focus on it to, um, let's say, train specific skills or specific actions. Not really specific actions, it's not a very good idea to have some kind of action in mind, some kind of specific action in mind. It's more important to have some kind of a series of, um, concept conceptually speaking, similar actions. So broad actions, broad concepts like parry post, um, single tempo actions or feints or whatever. Um, of course you don't have to go only for it because I mean <laughs> you become predictable but uh, having a focus sometimes in your sparring is really important so that you can try out stuff in a more conscious way and uh, improve in a specific area so that's really important so I hope you enjoyed the video so thanks for watching and uh, yeah remember that if you want to uh, help this channel go up you can do it through my patreon page link in the description as always thanks for watching and uh, see you next time